okay hey guys it's Kimberly with the artistic frog and I'm outside trying to get these in the dye bath before the Sun goes down these all have um, wax on them the color that you see is just a washable marker these three are gonna go into a see if I can get it in the picture a golden brown and this one I forget what that color is but it is a pale pink and I want to I want it to go into a fuchsia red and then maybe I don't know I don't know I hadn't decided yet but um, okay I'm gonna try to Hold this. I have my fuchsia already mixed here, just with uh, just with water. Uh, my soda ash is already in the water. This um, fuchsia red is really bad about speckles and spots. And. I don't know how dark I want that. I really don't want it very dark. Let's put almost all of it in there. Let's give it a stir. And I really don't like using colored buckets. Buckets with color embedded in them because I can't really tell what color I have. Okay, I don't know. That seems awfully weak. Let's just go for it, guys. Let's just be daring. I'm trying to get the rest of this open. Get that in there. And uh, stir this up. And I wanted a whole lot of texture in this shirt so I'm not putting it in a whole lot of water you want to see the back of it first Let's see if I can grab it here it's the back is that gonna be beautiful everywhere this yellow color is that's preserving the well the, the darker the darker that's does that is Sorry, guys. That is um, protecting this pink color. The really, really light yellow stuff, that's white under there. Okay, um, let's put this in neck down because I really want that color. Sorry, I'm trying to duck it in there and watch what I'm doing at the same time. And that water is awfully warm. Okay, yeah, yeah, I think that's gonna get that. Okay, and I don't hope that doesn't. Do anything to the integrity of the wax. It's not boiling hot water, but I was trying to uh, make sure that my soda ash was all dissolved in there. Okay, so here's these shirts. They're pretty. Look at the sleeves on that. Guys, this took forever. <laughs> it's beautiful. Um, this key is not on there. I decided not to not to wax that. And the back of this shirt's really pretty too. Okay, there. And just a feather. Okay, so again, uh, mixed my brown my little pour over tube that I have it's a golden brown actually 
Juiciness out of there. Okay. Whew, it's cold out here, guys. And it's not freezing, but. Okay, I think that's going to be a good color. I don't want it super duper dark. Um, these are three different kinds of shirts. I did, did want to note that just to see if they take the dye equally or not. Not all cottons are the same. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, looky there. Uh, guys, I don't know what it is about that color. That is just so pretty. Okay, so we have that one in there. Let's grab this one. This one doesn't have anything. Oh, yeah, yeah, it does too. Has a little bitty one on the back there. Show you in the water. There. There. I will try to show you the progression of these as I go along. I, uh, I've been trying to get these in the dye bath for <laughs> over a week. And, uh, you know, life just happens and you just got to roll with it. This is all, I don't know if you can tell I don't know exactly how that's going to come out. I bought this shirt at a uh, secondhand store. It was brand new. And uh, I thought, well, I'll just see. I'll just see what I can do with it. Right. Okay, I've done all I can do one handed. So, um, yeah, y'all stay tuned, and um, I'll try to show you the progression of these as we go along. I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much, and um, be sure and like and subscribe. Share it if you don't mind. Um, the more boutique we get out there, the better. So, um, if I don't talk to you before, y'all all have a Merry Christmas. And, uh, and a happy new year. All right. So uh, hopefully we'll be talking to you, but we'll see you later. Bye-bye.